Hi, my name is Vina Sohara and welcome to another video. The other day I published a picture of my orgasmic breakfast on Instagram and someone asked me to share my grocery list for the week. So I thought I would show you in this video all of the food that I have in my cupboards. I'm a high raw vegan and I eat at home normally and yeah, I'm going to show you everything I have. So I store my food in three places. The first place is my fruit bowl and here is my fruit bowl. Oh my God. So um, I actually eat between, I think, 10 and 15 portions of fresh fruit and vegetables per day. And this is the fruit bowl anyway. So we've got um, tangerines and I might have those as a snack or I might juice them. And also we've got a kiwi here, some um, grapes. They might be part of tomorrow's orgasmic breakfast. And lemons, lots and lots of lemons. I love um, lemons. I might um, squeeze them with my morning juice or I might have them in my, um, in my evening juice, which was um, mainly green vegetables. I also love... Um, uh, what are they called? Pink grapefruits. I love pink grapefruit because it's not as sweet as orange. That's nice to have in the morning. Also, sweet potato. I juice sweet potatoes normally. And I also juice pears because I have um, um, a vegetable, green vegetable juice in the evening and a, a couple of pears can make it a little bit sweeter. And of course, apples. An apple a day and all of that. So we've got lots of apples and I do have an apple a day. And of course, bananas, love bananas. And one of my favorites is um, avocado. I absolutely love, love, love avocados. Now let's see what's in the fridge. Okay, let's start with the fridge door. So I've got yogurts, soya yogurts. Um, I don't know if soya is good or bad. I'm a bit confused about soya to be honest. But um, I also buy um, different types of yogurts as well. For example, coconut milk yogurts or hemp yogurts or even rice milk yogurts, which was quite nice actually. But at the moment I've got soya and sun-dried tomato. I love sun-dried tomato. It's actually quite meaty, even though it's vegan. It's, it's, I think it's a great meat substitute for sure. And cooked beetroot. I have this in my salads. And um, black olive tapenade. I love this um, for my breakfasts and to have on the side for my lunch, just to give my dishes a bit of flavour. And ginger root. Who doesn't love a ginger? I love ginger root and I have this in my evening juice. And some tomatoes. I get these tomatoes as they're kind of easy to manage. Um, and But I actually prefer these big, um, big um, tomatoes that you get here in Spain. There are so many varieties, and but they're quite expensive. They could be my, maybe two euros a big for a big tomato. So for the time being, I get these when um, the tomatoes I really like are not, are not in season. Um, so, Let's go to the vegetables. Check this out. This is Spanish celery. It's massive. I love, love, love celery. And I juice celery. Well, I don't actually love celery. That's the lie. I absolutely hate celery. I don't like the taste at all. But I find that juicing it, um, I think juicing anything can make it manageable or, or pleasant because you can mix it with pears and and um, lemons to try and, you know, camouflage the taste a bit. But now I'm, I'm really, really getting into um, celery juice. And in my juices, I have about three stalks of them. So it's pretty intense. And check out the size of it. It's amazing. So that occupies most of my fridge, actually. Got some stuff for salads here. I've got rocket, mixed leaves, and spinach, which is uh, spinach is for my juices. And here we have some um, raw beetroot. Oh my God, I love, love, love raw beetroot. Um, I just love juicing. <laughs> Talking about juicing quite a lot. Sorry, sorry. Okay, next. 
some carrots. I actually have about a kilo or two kilos of carrots per week, so I've already eaten most of the carrots. And cucumber. I have a cucumber every day, so I'll have to go for some more cucumbers in a couple of days. And check out these Spanish zucchinis. Oh my God, they are absolutely massive. And I might have half of that for it in my juice later today, because that's quite a lot. Wow. And then for my salads, I've got some beans and some lentils. And I might have um, a tofu burger and some mushrooms and some hummus from the supermarket because I really cannot be bothered to make my own. And now let's see what's in my cupboards. So in the cupboards, we've got sultanas. I love sultanas as a snack and for breakfast cashews and walnuts for salads for breakfast as a snack here i've got some original rye crisp bread which i'm having for breakfast lately and these seaweed crackers are quite intense so i'm using these two at the moment for my orgasmic breakfasts and in my orgasmic breakfasts, i have these crackers with hummus sun-dried tomato and walnuts I've got cereal bars, and these cereal bars have got, what have they got in them? Um, toasted oat, maize, wheat, and rice with hazelnuts. Couscous and quinoa. And millet. I've got this loose leaf green tea that I absolutely love. And last, week, and last weekend it was the biggest vegan fair in Europe here in Barcelona and I was very lucky to be given some Kissa matcha tea powder sticks and I really can't wait to try these. I'm going to try them tomorrow in tomorrow's orgasmic breakfast. Oh my god! And at night time I love to have some herbal tea before bed. Ah! Oh, got hair in my eye. Ah, ah. Ah. At night time I love to have some herbal tea before bed and here I've got some High living organic. What's this got? Um, which has got? What's it got? What's it got? Lavender, tila, chamomile, and lots of different things. And this one, I love this one because it's got valerian in it, and you can really tell it's just like boom. Let me sleep now. I love it. Um, if I have a takeaway coffee, I don't have coffee at home. I've got panela sugar because I don't like real sugar. Well, real sugar. I don't like white refined sugar. And this is a much, much better alternative. To dress my salads, I've got pink Himalayan salt, apple cider vinegar, and extra virgin olive oil. And then about once or twice a week, I eat out because Barcelona is an amazing place to be a vegan and I love to try new things. So there you have what I eat in a week as a high raw vegan. I hope you've enjoyed this video and see you next time.